What's going on, guys? My name is Chris Warrens, and I'm a full service concierge watch dealer. I have a nonprofit for veterans, and I also coach and consult entrepreneurs up to the eight figure mark through my consulting company, Warrior Consulting. And the same lessons that I give you here today are the exact same ones that I've used in 15 years of entrepreneurship, and so have my clients to dominate their day. Today, we're going to talk about the three ways to rise above your competitors and your competition, but I'm not going to give you the answers you think you're going to get. I'm not going to teach you how to destroy your competitors. I'm actually going to teach you how to everyone can thrive together. So let's get into the show. All right, number one, they are not your competition. I say it again, your competitors are not your competition. If you think they are, it's your fucking mindset. It's busted or you don't know any better. It's all about how you look at the subject of others in your industry. I promise you, if you work with your competition, you will rise together. Don't make enemies, especially early on in your rise, it will come back to haunt you because karma is real and we reap what we sow. Number two, partner with your competition and collaborate with them. The biggest deal I've ever worked on currently this year is with several other competitors that were making and putting a deal together that's nearly eight figures for a watch. It's taking several of us to all work together to get it done. Case in point, your competitors are not your competition. You gotta work with them and you gotta to collaborate with them and you got to partner with them. This would not be happening. This deal would not have been presented to me to get it done. They came to me, my competitors, to get this deal done if I had made enemies with my competitors. They are my friends and we rise together. The sooner you see it this way, the sooner you'll be rich financially too, plain and simple. Lastly, there's plenty of bread on the table for everyone to eat. Doesn't matter what industry you're in. Doesn't matter what position you're in. Early on, mid-level, high-level, gangster level, there's plenty of bread on the table for everyone to eat. And if you look at your competitors and your competition as a bad thing, that bread will move away from you. But when you begin to build relationships and friendships and help each other, because you know there's plenty of bread on the table to eat, you will eat well because there's plenty of bread on the table to eat. And I promise you, I've starved in business and I've been very prosperous and abundant in business. And one of the key differences is working with the competition because we build the bakery to eat the bread so everyone can eat and you could do it too. So I summed it up three ways to rise above your competition. Fundamentally, you rise together. I promise you if you run this play and implement this play and look at your competition and look at your competitors as allies, you too will be able to eat all of the bread. So if you guys have any questions regarding this content, just drop a question below. I personally respond. I want to talk to you guys. We're building a community. We're building a tribe. And speaking of which, our tribe is getting close to a thousand subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, 90% of you, please do smash that like button. Help this video by hitting like button, commenting, and subscribing. Get out to other entrepreneurs to educate them so we can all build the bread factory together and eat the bread on the table as winners together. I'll catch you guys next time.